assessment of post-operative hip abductor muscle strength and functional outcomes, a comparative study between dynamic hip screw and proximal femoral nail for intertrochanteric fractures by Niketa Patel and Paresh Golwala. The present study assessing the post-operative hip abductor muscle strength and functional outcomes. Extracapsular intertrochanteric femur fractures occur between femoral neck and lesser trochanter of the femur. Intertrochanteric fracture shows high rate of fracture union because intertrochanteric femur area is made of cancellous bone which is rich in blood supply. All the patients with greater than or equal to 18 virus of age and were operated for intertrochanteric femur fracture between July 2022 to December 2022 were approached. Any patients with history of surgery in the ipsilateral hip or contralateral hip polytrauma, unstable intertrochanteric fracture or OA of hip joint were excluded from the study. On the principles of deep venous thrombosis, DVT, prevention, Strengthening exercises, room exercises and gait training the patients were given physiotherapy. Once weight bearing was allowed on 6 weeks, their gait parameters, stride length, cadence, functional strength, unilateral stance test and Harris hip score were measured. The same outcome measures along with the strength of hip abductor muscle were repeated at 6 months as femoral offset is important for restoring anatomy. The study findings revealed that the muscle strength of the operated limb in the geriatric patients having greater than or equal to 70 years does not reach to its contralateral sound limb. In conclusion, patients with unrested femoral offset exhibited weak strength of hip abductor muscle. Patients with dynamic hip screw fixation showed better results than other surgeries in young patients. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for watch more scientific research videos.